Nothing in my life ever lit a fire in me like that. The injustice of it, that I had been paying people to do. I would never have paid people to do those things to these animals on my behalf, never. And uh, yeah, that's how it started. I grew up kind of like a hillbilly in suburbia. You know, I built my first pickup truck when I was 15 years old. I loved it, I had a motorcycle when I was five. You know, I was very fortunate. Come on, everybody. My mother could cook like crazy. So I ate everything, you know, and sadly, on my birthdays, she would make for me veal parmesan. I had no idea what it was. There's the fastest cow in the world right here, Louie. You should see how fast he can run. Hi, Big Lou. I've always, in my mind, loved animals. I would go anywhere if there was a petting zoo and there were goats and there was, I was crazy for them. You know, all the other kids would be like, because they, they smell dusty and musky and I'd be like, you know, I love them. I always did. I was like anyone else, you know? I didn't, I didn't think of it past, you know, most of our interaction with farm animals is in a supermarket. They don't look like farm animals anymore. This is Freddy. Freddy is one of our most famous kids. Freddy escaped the slaughterhouse in Queens seven years ago. He was running right down Jamaica Avenue. One day, I was out on my motorcycle, stopped at this restaurant, and I saw a little flyer. And it said, come meet Story the Sheep. And I thought, that's close by. I got nothing better to do. Let's go, let's go meet Story. So I took a ride over there on my motorcycle and it was a small farm animal sanctuary. I didn't even know there was such a thing. I had never even heard of one before. So I went, met some chickens. They had a couple big steer out in a small field, but the woman giving the tour said, these animals, they have to be pregnant. They have to have a baby to give milk. And I was like, what? I didn't know that. How, how come I didn't know that? I was a grown man. I pay attention. And then she said, that if we're drinking milk, there's a baby somewhere that isn't. And I could feel my blood pressure. I could, I could feel the rage in me. I was like, I was pissed off immediately at me because I'm a grown man. How come I didn't know this? Nothing in my life ever lit a fire in me like that. The injustice of it that I had been paying people to do. I would never have paid people to do those things to these animals on my behalf, never. And. Uh, yeah, that's how it started. Louie, Toby, and Francis, who's all in this group, came from a backyard butcher case. They were letting animals die. They were hacking cows up with chainsaws. It's brutal. I started this sanctuary because I just thought it was magical. I, I, I just thought, these people are saints. So I started really volunteering and donating and doing these things, and I loved it. But the reality is, I can't really be on board someone else's vision. I need to steer the ship ethically. I had a lot of contact with a lot of sanctuaries and they do things and they help animals, but I'm a little different. I am not for welfare measures in any way, shape or form. I don't want to hear about a bigger cage for a bird. I don't want to hear about Meatless Monday. I don't, I don't care about it. It's not a thing. You know what I mean? We don't have Don't Touch a Little Kid Tuesday. We don't have that. Nobody would stand for that, right? You're never supposed to touch a little kid. We don't have look both ways before you cross the street Friday. There, every day you, you look both ways so you don't get mowed down, right? I, I just don't understand those things. All right, big man. You a good boy? So many people come here and leave vegans. It's unbelievable because of them. I tell their stories, just matter of fact. I don't try to hurt anyone's feelings. I never single a person out. And they just learn and they meet the animals and say, this is someone. I'm 100% convinced that the world will be vegan one day. But uh, sadly, I don't think it's gonna be because we all become empathetic and say we shouldn't harm animals. I think it's gonna be because the way we're doing things is not sustainable. I wish it would happen because we learned. I mean, in general, that would make us better people, you know? Maybe it would be less violent to each other and stuff if we stopped what we do. 131 cows. If we had the land and the money, I'd have a thousand. They're just the best, they break my heart.